Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my channel. It's Tika Alice. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very aesthetic slash cute so you can pray for a Shut up. You can, you can use this for your TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or you could just do it for a fun. Anywho, the first step I'm going to do is change my hairstyle i'm actually gonna make myself a pause you might be a little confused but basically i just want to use a different hair that's not from the tokyo catalog you honestly don't need to do this step if you like a hair from the tokyo catalog you can use that but i'm just gonna make myself balls i'm also gonna take all my accessories off and I'm going to switch to this outfit. Like I said, you might be confused what I chose this outfit, but you'll see what I'm going to do. Anyways, let's quickly guess out. To have a green background, just so it's easy to remove the background. And all you're going to do is take a screenshot of your character. If you want a little emotion, you can use that, but I don't really want that. And just zoom in just to make it easier. And the app I'm going to be using is Pixar's. It is a free app, so everyone can use it. But before we edit anything, go check out my Pinterest because this is what I get my soaker outfits and my soaker backgrounds so if you like any soaker outfits i have a whole board just for this as you can see right here same thing for soaker book backgrounds i'm actually going to go choose the backgrounds i think i might choose let's see kind of like this one this one's really pretty, so I'm just going to go press download image and it should be saved. The next thing I'm going to do is just choose our outfits. You can just keep on scrolling until you find one that you really like. I like this one, so I'm just going to go save this. And for this um, profile picture, I'm actually going to be as in some cute little eyes. So you can click on this ball I have that's called Toka PFB Inspo. So it's lots of cute little animals and also very cute hairstyles. I'm going to go download this as well. And I'm also going to be downloading this one. There's also some phones that you can download. And also some hand poses. But I don't think I'm going to use a hand pose. Maybe. Anyways, let's get started on making our profile picture. So the first thing I do after I put in the background and my character is to remove the background. So click selection later. Get a bucket and press the green. Make sure you went back to the characters layer, then press this and press cars. Then remove a selection area. So that's how you remove the background. And the next thing we do is actually remove this background so I can just get this outfit. I'm just going to be using the same technique. back to the character layer to just colour this in and that's how I take an outfit. face that's actually why I put on that swimming suit and now it's time for the hair section so I really like this hair so I'm just gonna draw over it 
and make it fit my Tweaker head a little better. And then below the hair later, I'm just going to be colouring in the hair. You can use bucket ears. Honestly, either way works. Next, I'm just taking the bucket tool and just colouring this top to be pink and i'm going to remove this background for the eye remember to cut and then remove selection area and then i'm going to go duplicate this area and then flip the layer but horizontal i might look a little funny but just trust the process <laughs> And in this section, I'm going to teach you how it is to move your hands to do any pose you like. So you click on the lasso, button on the left, you go back on the pose, and then you just take that area, just draw over it. And then I'm going to go duplicate this, go back to the body layer, and I'm going to erase the original hand slash arm, have this one. Then I go just flip, and I just put that layer up. And then, voila, that's how you do it. Now I'm just going to go make sure this connects to my arm so it doesn't look weird. And the next part is a shadowing. Shadows make it look more defined and a lot better. So I'm just going to be adding some shadows make sure that it's a transparent layer so you can just change a transparent layer on the bottom and then i'm just going to be adding some shadows like so and next to add the outline you just go press that and press stroke you can change the width and then press a drop shadow. Next, I'm going to be as in a blush. Make sure to change your brush to the airbrush one just to make it look a bit more natural and cuter. So I'm actually going to go remove the token nose and just add something like this. Um, I'm also going to go change my hands. I'm going to make you do a little P sign. If it's a little difficult for you to draw that, I do have some references on my Pinterest that you can just trace over. And remember to go to the bosom layer when you want to colour. And I'm just going to be adding some highlight on the hair. It's really simple. Just draw like a straight line. Make it a little bit curved though. Just colour this in. And then it would change the transparency level. And I'm just going to go add some more tattoos. So I'm actually going to go change the outline of my character. Just because I don't want it to be black. I want it to be a bit more soft.
I really hope you enjoy this video and I really hope you guys find it helpful. I'll show the end results in the end so you guys can use that for reference if you want. And remember, you can go check my Pinterest so you can find some hair, outfits, etc. It's honestly really helpful.